reading uh, the river. We have any doubts regarding the, the river poem yesterday? Could you answer me? Do you have any doubts regarding river poem? No, ma'am. So, ma'am. Now, all of you, you have to listen and answer me. That's all. You should not talk yourselves. Okay. Now, shall we start uh, see reading? Yes. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes ma'am. What is see reading here? Can't climb Can't trees. Climb trees anymore. Anymore. Written by Ruskin Bond. Written by Ruskin Bond. If you turn your textbook, the last person here, the last person is here, Ruskin Bond. He is Ruskin Bond. So, shall we know more about uh, Shall we know more about uh, um, the skin bond? Okay, ma'am, yes. Okay, yes. He was born in Kasavi, Himachal Pradesh, in 1934. He wrote a number of short stories, essays, novels, and many books for children. So he wrote, Ruskin Bond wrote many short stories, essays, novels, and many books for children. So here, in his works, you see, The Room on the Roof was his first novel. The Room on the Roof was his first novel. Yes, first novel. And uh, written when he was 17. When did he write his first novel? When he was 17. 17 he years. Yes. He, he received. He received the John Lane uh, Rice Memorial Prize in 1957. In 1992, he received. <laughs> Short story collection. Our trees still grow in Dera, Dera Doom. So Dera Doom, it is. It is. Uh, it is in uh, Himachal Pradesh. See Dera Doom. Now it is in uh, Uttaranchal. Uh, given by Science Academy, then Indian National Academy of Law and Literature. He was awarded. The Padma Shri in 1999. Ruskin Bond has been awarded Padma Shri in 1999 for contributions to children's literature. He wrote more about the children's literature. For that, he got a, he, he was the recipient of a Padma Shri Award by central government. So he was the recipient of a central uh, Padma Shri Award given by uh, central government of India. Then. In this story, what is the story we are going to read about? Can't climb trees anymore. So in this story, the writer wants to talk about. So in this story, the writer wants to talk about the sweet, uh, uh, you say, re recollections of uh, a middle-aged man. <coughs> sweet memories. Recollection means what? Sweet uh, memories of a middle-aged man. So we, in this uh, lesson, the narrator is middle-aged man. Who is the narrator? Middle-aged man. And uh, importance of uh, growing trees. So you have to, uh, we, in this uh, unit, we have to go in touch with the environment. In this, uh, in this short story, so the writer gives more importance to growing trees. The narrator comes back to the old house in which he spent his time. The middle-aged man came back to his old house. Came back to his old house and uh, it was in which he spent his childhood, youth. And uh, when his grandmother died, they sold out that house and went up. 
So now he came back to see his old house. This somewhat anxiety will be there for us whenever we leave any place. This, for example, if uh, uh, your father is transferred to another place, you go away sometime. When you, by chance, if you come back to the previous uh, place where did you spend your childhood, you want to see that. So some thrill will be there. How about that house? And you might have spent many days. Some important memory, some uh, sweet memories might be there. You want to see that. You go to that house and then you can read a little memory. So, here's the story here. The middle is the man. Now he is a middle aged man. So, when he was, he spent uh, his childhood and uh, youth in that particular house. In that particular house. And when his grandmother died, they sold out that house and went away to some other place. Now he came back again. He came back to his old house. To see his old, old house. Now, let us start the lesson. Let us start the lesson here. He stood. Who is he here? He is nothing but the narrator. Who is the narrator in this lesson? Narrator is the middle aged man. Who is the narrator? The middle aged, middle aged man. Who is the narrator? The middle aged man. He stood on the grass, worked by the side of the road. So, who stood uh, on the grass? Worked. So grass sometimes, but when the road is uh, like this. So this is the border where the grass goes. Where the grass goes. He stood here on the border of the grass by the side of the road and looked over the garden. He looked over the garden. What is this look over children? Look over is nothing but a place, a basal work. First lesson only you learned all these phrasal verbs. So mention this. This is a phrasal verb. How do you form phrasal verbs? Phrasal verbs, they give some particular meaning. When we join verb plus preposition or an adverb. Sometimes both. See, such a formation is called a phrasal verb, and when they join together, they will give you some other special meaning. When when uh, when they, we divide them, the meaning will be changed. So here, he looked over the garden. He looked over the garden wall of, at the old house. So where did he look over? He looked over the garden wall, the compound wall, the compound wall of the old house. It hadn't changed much. So, now also, there were no changes. It hadn't changed. He looked at the house through the garden wall and uh, the house did not change much here. But some particular changes were there. Then, the old house built with the solid blocks of granite. So, this old house, already it has become older, this old house has been built with the solid, solid means very hard, solid blocks of granite wasn't altered at all. So, what do you mean altered or repaired? Altered. Other word is also there in English. Altered. Alter, alter. This alter is repair or modification or renovation. We can say renovation. Here, this alter, we are going to see in churches where they keep their, uh, just like uh, uh, we can say that. Uh, Podium like that, we keep uh, the books, the Bible or uh, uh, 
uh, any important sacred books and read. So church, in churches, uh, for example, uh, the father will keep the Bible on the altar and uh, he will read the Bible. So here, altar, altar is repair, modify, or renovate. Renovate. But this altar is nothing but a high raised platform. Highly raised platform here. Highly raised platform. That is called altar. So don't get confusion. Such words are there in English which often confuse you. In the class, you will get uh, such words in uh, second unit or third unit. We are going to see uh, altars there. Then altar, altar, uh, the words are often confused. Okay. So, there, it wasn't altered at all. So, the house was not uh, renovated at all or modified, any no changes were there. But there was a new outhouse. You can see there was a new outhouse here. There was a new outhouse and there were fewer trees. Not many trees here. You can see only two trees here. Only fewer trees there were. Then uh, he was glad to see that the jackfruit tree still stood at the side of the building, the same tree which they, they planted that. By the side of the house, they planted a jackfruit tree. Still it was there. Still it was there at the side of the building, casting. What do you mean casting? The? Casting means uh, you see, posing its shade on the wall. Casting means uh, you see, it is uh, its, uh, shadow is going to fall over the wall. He remembered his grandmother saying, underline this sentence, a blessing press on the house where the shadow of the tree falls. Very good sentence. A blessing, you see, what did they think about? A blessing means you see from the elders or God. So his grandmother thought the trees are gifts of God. So when we grow trees, when we get the shadow, it is nothing like seeking the blessing from God. So that is why planting trees are very, very important. <coughs> Growing trees are very, very important. When we get the a shadow or shade, shade, no? That is nothing but uh, we are getting the blessings of God. That is why we have to plant trees in and around our house. Then, a blessing rests on the house where the shadow of a tree falls. Then and so, that is why we can compare his grandmother as well as Chief Seetal. First lesson, first day reading we read, no? Chief Seetal also regarded Regarded our environment is very, very precious for us. This, uh, protecting the environment is very, very, uh, very, very important for us. And we should not uh, uh, cut down trees. We should not cut down trees because they are sacred, they are precious. So in this way, both are same. There is a question in your next book. So what do you say about, uh, is there any comparison between Chief Situl and the grandmother? Yes, there is a comparison. Both of them, they consider the plants, trees, animals, all these, they are gifts of God, they are sacred. Then, and so, the present owners must also be receiving the trees blessing. The present also, the present owners are also seeking the blessings of uh, the jackfruit tree. Have you seen jackfruit? Have you eaten jackfruit chicken? Yellow colored, flavored meal? Very nice. But it is having some water over the, the a very big sign, big in size, and some uh, uh, thorns will be there outside. It is green and gray in color, and if you cut down, we get uh, uh, jackfruit. So jackfruit, you can see uh, here jackfruits. Then jackfruit tree, jackfruit tree. At this, and the present owners must also be receiving the tree's blessings. At the spot where he stood, where did he stand? He stand on the verge, 
and the border of the green grass outside the wall outside the wall at the spot where he stood there had once been a turnstile where he stood here you see here once there was a turnstile now it is a gate but uh, in during his childhood there was a turnstile what is a turnstile a revolving gate so normally in older days there were revolving gates children used to play uh, you see just like merry go round so revolving like this revolving the gates were there then in a mechanical gate is it is still turning round and round as you pass through turning round and the turnstile once at the spot where he stood there had been a turnstile here then and as a boy he would swing she means take a round by by side by side he would swing on it going round and round until he was quite dizzy until he loses his consciousness consciousness until he loses his balance he used to turn round and round on the turnstile so i have understood what you mean by turnstile Just tell me your answer. Do you have an idea about turnstile, children? What is the meaning of turnstile here? Is have you seen such gates? Turnstile gates, turning. You see revolving gates. Normally, children would play, taking round and round, taking round and round, and they would play until they get. Uh, Uh, they lose their balance sometimes we get dizziness dizziness means losing the consciousness because of uh, turning round and round now the turnstile had gone is there any turnstile here no it is not revolving gate now the turnstile had gone the opening void up the opening gate is there it is already mounted up it is already built tall holly hops What is my holly hop, sir? Come on. Can you read the meaning? Holly hop. Tall holly hop. What is the meaning of holly hop? A tall garden plant. A tall garden. Plant with a showy, not with a large showy plants. With a large, are you reading? With a large showy plants. Plants. So you can see here. These are the holy hops. You can see a large, a uh, tall plant. They are having the reddish color plants here, and large showy plant uh, plants here. So, uh, tall holly hops grew on the other side of the wall. On the other side of the wall, they are holly hops. What are you looking at? Suddenly, he heard some voice. He heard some. Voice, not the physical presence. Nobody was seen there. Only he heard the voice here. What are you looking at? So look at is also a phrasal verb. Looking at, look at is also a phrasal verb. You can write that phrasal verb. What are you looking at? Somebody asked, but he could not see any person here there. It was a disembodied voice at first. Like disembodied. What do you mean by disembodied? Lack of physical presence. Lack of physical presence. Am I clear? Do you have a reason of my handwriting? Is my handwriting clear, children? Could you see this? Just answer me. 
is my handwriting is uh, visible clearly yes yes ma'am okay right thank you see lack of presence only he heard the voice he could not see any any uh, person there here and there that is called disembodied it was a disembodied voice voice without physical presence at first moments later a girl stood slowly a girl stood some moments later a girl stood framed between dark red holy hawk she was where she was she was in between dark red holy hawk so frame means she was seen frame means the phys the physical appearance was seen in between dark red holy hawk staring at the man looking closely at the man then she was only 12 or 13 year old so what is the age of that girl 12 or 13 year slim and dark so how was she she was not a fat she was slim and dark in complexion not a fair in complexion dark with lively eyes very active eyes lively means what sharp eyes and long black hair long black hair you can see that girl so what is the age of that girl 12 or 13 so how is she looking at slim and dark slim means very thin body and dark complexion not the fair in complexion she was dark uh, with lively eyes what is the lively eyes here lively means very active very sharp eyes and uh, she had a very long black hair then i'm looking at the house so that voice she asked him what are you looking at he said what are you looking at i'm looking at the house so what he was looking at he was looking at the house why he was looking at that house because he spent his childhood his yeah, youth Uh, in that house, when his grandmother died, died, they went up. They sold that house and went up. Now he he stood in front of the same old house, looking at that. Then I'm looking at the house. He said, "Why do you want to buy it?" The girl asked. Why? Innocent she asked. Why? Why are you looking at this house? Do you want to buy it? Then the man asked, "Is it your house?" It is my father's. So the girl says, "No, no, it is not my house. It is my father's." Then what? And uh, what does your father do? So he is only a colonel. Don't spell it as a colonel. What is the pronunciation? Colonel. Though R is not there, you have to pronounce it as colonel. Yes. Have you understood how to pronounce this? Come on, answer me. So, what is the pronunciation? Colonel. Colonel. Yes, Colonel. He is only a Colonel. So, what is the uh, what department he belongs to? He was, you see, uh, this uh, Colonel <coughs> is nothing but a rank of officer in the army. Is it Colonel? Is the post in the army? Post in the army. A rank, in, a rank of officer. A rank of officer in the army in the U.S. Air Force. U.S. means United States uh, Air Force. Then above a lieutenant. Above uh, after lieutenant, they will become Colonel. And uh, below a brigadier. so before being a brigadier they will become colonel after lieutenant they will become colonels so colonel he is only a colonel well he should have been a brigadier by now so by the yes by the start my father would have become would have been a brigadier now the man burst out laughing 
it is not funny don't laugh don't uh, laugh even mummy says you should have been a brigadier so mummy also says you should have become brigadier by this time it was on the tip of his tongue to make a witty remark he was about to tell some funny uh, saying about this perhaps that's why he is still brigade or what he wanted to do oh that's why he is still brigade he would not have become a, a brigade but he did not want to give him give offense but he wanted to tell her oh that's why he just he is just now also he is a colonel by, by this time he could have become a brigade then so he, he was about to tell uh, what he was about to tell that perhaps that's why he is still a colonel then but he did not say it is not fair to say they stood up on either side of the wall appraising each other so the narrator the middle aged man was on one side and the girl was on other side of the wall they were appraising they were talking each other appraising means what appraising means assess the performance what do they mean by appraising assess their own performance appraising assess the performance what is this assess the performance so they were knowing about each other they were knowing about each other well she said finally if you don't want to buy the house why are you looking that why are you looking that ah yes when you don't want to buy this house why are you are looking at my at this house see listen my dear i used to live here once you already know that middle aged man once he was lived in that house uh, during his childhood at young age he spent his uh, childhood at a young age i used to live here once oh 25 years ago as a boy as a young man and then my grandmother died and we sold the house and went away so same house he was looking at so 25 years ago 25 years back as a boy as a young man and i spent my days here then when my grandmother died he sold sold out his house and went away she was silent for a while who is she here who is she here come on tell me who is she here come on tell me who is she here who is she here answer me a to well to five year uh-huh. the girl yes that the who stood on the other side of the wall they were talking to both of them they were talking so this girl who stood on other side of the wall and this middle aged man is standing this side of the wall then she was silent for a while taking uh taking the in taking in this information then she said and uh, you would like to buy it back now okay now you want to buy it back now but you don't have money so small children they will uh, they will say they own remarks without any knowledge see she was silent for a while uh, taking in this taking in this uh, taking in this information then she said and you would like to buy it in white bag now i think you are uh, buying it back now but you don't have money he did not uh, look very prosperous prosperous means not uh, interested prosperous means what not interested he did not look very prosperous not interested no i wasn't thinking of buying it back sorry i'm not thinking of buying it back 
wanted to see it again. Yes, I wanted to see it again because I spent my childhood, my, spent my years in this house. That is why I wanted to see it again. I don't want to buy it. That's all. How long have you lived in it? In it? He asked the, this question to the girl. How many years you you are living in this house? How long have you lived in this house? Only three years. So last three years. She smiled. She would. She had been eating a melon. What she had been eating? She had been eating a water melon, and there was still juice in the corners of her mouth. Where still juice was there in the corners of her mouth. Do you mind? Come closely. Do you want to come in and uh, uh, look, uh, look to that, uh, look your old house uh, very closely? Then he asked, "Hey, wouldn't your parents mind?" I'm a strange man now. If you are strange, uh, what, what uh, your parents would think if a strange man is allowed inside? No, no, no. They have gone to the club. They have gone to the club. They won't mind. I am allowed to bring my friends home. You see, my parents never mind if I bring anybody inside. I am always, I am, I am allowed to bring my friends home. Bring uh, friends home. Uh, even elderly friends like me. So you are allowed to bring your friends home. Even uh, elderly friends also. Elderly means grown up. Elderly friends like me. How old are you? So what is your age? Oh, that's the middle aged. This means above forty, above forty. But feeling you young, feeling young today. Though I am a middle aged man, today I am feeling feeling so young because I am recollecting my sweet memories of my childhood and young days because I spent my childhood and young days in this house. Though I am a middle aged man today. Though I am a middle aged man today. Uh, I'm feeling younger today, and to prove it, so to prove that he was younger, he decided to decided he would climb over the wall. He would uh, climb over, climb over the wall instead of going round to the gate. Instead of entering through the gate, he wanted to jump one and enter inside. Then he got up on the wall. All right, he got up on the wall. All right, but I had to rest there, breathing heavily. So, middle aged man normally they cannot jump; otherwise, they will get to some, uh, um, you see, some strain when they jump. They can't jump easily. So, middle aged man on the flying trapeze, he muttered himself, "Oh my God, middle aged man should not." Uh, Jump like this. See, uh, on the flying trapeze. Flying trapeze means where do you see in circus? See the acrobats, the the uh, fish, the one who is doing there. They will uh, catch from one swing to another swing in the air. You might have seen the circus round the air. The those acrobats they will catch. Uh, flying in the air to catch another swing. That is called trapeze. So that has been a uh, you see jumping on the wall. It was seems to be just like flying on flying uh, flying on flying the uh, trapeze. So he muttered to himself, "Okay." Muttered means talking somewhat hesitatingly to himself because uh, it is not possible for young man for a for a middle aged man. To jump anywhere else easily. I will help 